My people, it's your boy Z Gaming. I'm back for another video on The Walking Dead Rush to Survival. And guys, in this video, I'm going to go over a couple things. Um, I got some pulls as well. Um, I had a small issue with the armory guy, guys. Um, something happened with like the last 20 seconds of it. And um, I have to go back and fix that part, but that's not a big deal. So I should have that out within the next day or two. Um, so be ready for that. Um, I, it was some part at the end. I, it kept cutting the audio off. So I'm assuming um, just part of the video file got corrupted or something. Who knows? Um, but I did fix it. So when, Well, I haven't fixed it yet, but once I fix it, I'll have it out in the next day or two. So bear with me through that. And um, it is pretty much finished. So um, like I said, it should be coming out in the next day or two. Um, I'm going to go over this character real quick, even though I know he's been out for a little while. Um, actually, well, he's not on the wheel anymore. Um, basically, this guy right here, he came out the um, five-star yellow ascendable, six-star yellow Jesus, the shield. Um, pretty interesting, even for a five-star. Um, you know, 500 maim damage up to two enemies. This character gets 50% defense for two turns, and up to two teammates get 40% bonus HP. Not bad for a yellow human shield. The 6-star version, 800 maim, maim damage up to 2 enemies. This character gets 50% defense and um, for 2 turns and up to 2 bonus, or excuse me, up to 2 teammates get 40% bonus HP. Human shield still pretty good. His weapon's decent as well. Um, I would recommend huge AP bonus when taking damage or attacking and then just go full on defense, guys. You know, he's not really, um, he's not going to really be for offense. He's going to, you're going to want him for that shield purpose, so... Really, you could even just go with huge AP bonus when attacking, pair him with a Carl lead or um, a Vincent lead. You know, any of those melee leads would be pretty good with him for sure. Um, but he's not a bad character, especially for a human shield. He'll definitely do his part, um, and he's worth getting in my opinion. You know, his active skill is pretty good as well. Um, he, re he regains up to 30% of his max HP for two turns, so that's pretty good. Um, and like I said, with 40% defense... And a huge AP bonus when attacking or taking damage, whichever way you choose to go about it. Me personally, I would do when attacking, um, just because he's not going to attack when he's shielding. Therefore, he's not really going to get that much AP, um, and you're going to use him for defense for sure. Um, you could use him for offense as well, um, but it all just depends. But he's definitely worth getting if you did get him. Um, they've been doing quite a few of these offers, as you guys have seen. In general, the um, solo survival return is pretty good rewards, actually. You know, some of these bags, you know, they could put a hockey mask bag um, with the whetstones, etc. instead of just the hand crank radio or military watch. Um, but the gold mob boxes are good. You know, the legendary medals are good, especially if you want to ascend. In general, um, I'm going to go for the top 100, probably maybe the top 10. We'll see. But overall, not too bad. Other than just changing that part, you know, the milestones are pretty good. The diamond earrings, food bags, trainers, five-star tokens, pretty good. Um, you know, I I could see maybe them changing the five star wheel or adding an additional um five star wheel of ascendables would be pretty cool. Um, but overall not too bad. Um level up pretty much the same thing here. Um decent milestones, um a couple mod boxes there, some trainers, some food bags, diamond earrings. Um the prizes could be a little bit better. Again, you know, they could add the whetstone bag, you know, the um hockey mask, etc. of all the six star pieces that you need that you can't get normally. The Ulysses are good, 5-star tokens are good, but like I said, they could add another wheel um, with just ascendable 5-stars, make it a little harder to get the tokens, and that would be a pretty cool addition to the game, in my opinion. But let me know what you guys think of that in the comments below. Um, Erica is back if you want to pull for her. Definitely still one of the best ranged leads in the game for defense. In general, um, not too bad at all. Um, you know, with Alpha back as well, her chainsaw is pretty good. Um... You know, that decapitates pretty good. She's a full-on offensive character, in my opinion. I have the Nova Stash is back. Um, the six-star version, not too bad. Um, but, you know, not the best six-star there is for sure. But um, I've been seeing a lot more Eugene leads now, especially since people ascended him. Ascended him. Very good character for sure. But I'll pull this real quick, and then I'll get into the rest of the pulls. And um, just let me know how you guys are doing in those tourneys, etc. And if you did pull for that yellow Jesus, and if you did get him or not. Um, like I said, I got a five-star pool, a prestige recruit pool, four-star pool, five-star pool. Um, I might have already said that, but four-star weapon pool and an elite item token pool. So I'll just do the four-star real quick, get that one out of the way. Um, I'm just trying to get any of the four-stars I don't have or any of characters I can use for ascension. I'm still trying to get that five-star green Glenn to ascend for the six-star because he's still one of the best six-star green commands in the game. Um, but let me go ahead and pull the... Let me do... Let me see here. 
Do I want to pull the four star weapon or the elite item token pool first? Let's do the elite items first. Um, an Aiden or a Benedict would be ideal. So let's go ahead and pull it and see what we get. Um, okay, I actually do need some of that gear, so I'm pretty happy with that because I was starting to run pretty low on that three star um, rare gear, etc. Especially um, since they were doing a lot more ultra gear roadmaps instead of the elite gears here recently, but there is some of the more rare gears coming back. Um, that's one thing, guys. Make sure you keep up with the gear maps for sure, or you will get low on the gear, etc. So just keep up with those. I'm going to pull it on the Ice Axe, try to get that Negan's SMG. And I got Glenn's pistol, so I've not seen this one before. Or I have seen it, but I haven't had it before. But I'll probably break that down. Nothing too fancy there. Um, let's do the prestige pull, and then I'll do the five-star pull. So let's pull it on Yumiko. Actually, no, not, let's pull it on Mirabelle. Um, any character I don't have or an ascendable five-star. Okay, I got four-star blue Zachary. That's pretty cool. Um, I'll use him for ascension. Five-star. I have most of these characters. The character I do want to get is either blue governor or any five star I don't have. So I'm gonna pull it on. And the reason I want blue governor is because I need a better ranged um, character for the tower teams, especially with cross region war and stuff coming up again. So let's pull it on green Herschel. Wouldn't mind to get him as well. He's still pretty good. Um, yellow Clementine. So that's actually pretty cool. Um, I've not had her before. She used to be very, very strong for a five star character back before the six stars came out. Even for a while there, there were still people using her because of her leader skill. Um, I haven't had her before, so that was pretty cool, actually. Very cool character to get. Definitely worth getting for sure. I think you need her in the museum, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, maybe you don't. I thought maybe you did. Um, but as far as this goes, guys, like I said, I would recommend you get the character first if you want him. And if you don't want to get the character, I would go with the canteen's GPSs. Then go with what else you need, or unless you already have a bunch of those, then you can get the other stuff you would need for a character. But me, I'm probably going to get Abraham first. Um, especially because I could use him for offense because he's a heavy hitting green and that pain split could be pretty good. He'd be a good leader um, to counter with against range teams or crawl teams, just depending on who you have. Um, but there it is, guys. You know, just a quick video giving you guys a little update. Um, the Armory Guide should be out, like I said, within the next day or two. Just bear with me while I fix that small last little problem with it. Um, and let me know what you guys think of the attorneys and I'll do a combat mods video in the future, like I said. And, um... Just let me know what you guys thought of all that stuff in general with the um, possible ascendable wheel for the five stars, you know, just stuff like that. And um, with all that really being said, guys, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. My link, excuse me, the links to everything is in the description. My new line ID is there as well. If you didn't know, I had to get a new line ID because I lost my old one when I got a new device. I forgot to link my email. So my line ID is the same. I just had to make a different one. And um, with all that really being said, guys, this is your boy Z Gaming.